quite cool. So, uh, this is Steve Sparks and Judy. <coughs> Children and families in life after trauma. Sea flat. And uh, we're down here at Little Whale Cove uh, with our friends, the Canadian Hunkers. And it seems to be different this year. There are two sets of mates this year, and uh, we're going to watch them for a while. They're forging out there, and uh, I think we're both fascinated by this, aren't we, Judy? Yeah. Usually we just have Matt and Maddie. And uh, now... What are we going to do? We're going to have to name the other two. What should we name the other two? Think of some names for them. How about Ambrose and Abby? Would you say that again? <laughs> I don't know. I think we should pick something different. I well, said Ambrose and Abigail. Ambos? Ambrose and Abigail. You know, I kind of like that. It's a mouthful, that's for sure. Uh, well, if you spell Ambrose, how would you spell it? A M B R O S E, Ambrose. And Abigail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ambrose and <laughs> Abigail. So, I, I keep thinking I see five geese out there. You know, there's another one. Though. I see five of them, at least. So, I don't know what to think about this. We may have some drop-in visitors today. And there's old George out here. He is here hanging out. And uh, old George comes in whenever he sees me and he is excited about that right now because he sees sparky and he's talking to me right now and he's saying hey sparky uh, nice to see you haven't seen you for a while so we'll watch this for a while we'll go back to the other now if we have five of them well there's another a couple of guys. So if we have five of them, what are we going to name the fifth one? Well, I don't know, but uh, it could be a partner um, behind the rock. So, so let's just watch for a while. Well, maybe see. there's six of them. It's possible. You let's know, that, that means that we would have oodles of goslings this year, doesn't it? Well, if all of these are in fact, residents, some could just be here for the day. We could conceivably have 20 goslings. So let's take a look out here at the ocean coming in. That's so pretty today. What's the temperature here today, Judy? Uh, my phone said 63 when we were walking down here. Nice day. So what time is it right now? I don't know. Noonish? It's noonish. <laughs> but what what temperature do you think it is? I just said sixty-three. Oh, and it's about one o'clock in the afternoon maybe? Something like that. Twelve thirty. Wow. I've got my new stick. You like my new stick for my camera? Yeah, that looks well. I can just not even shake anymore. How Here about that? And uh, let's just watch these waves and the beautiful day. And before we'll go, we'll go back to Matt and Maddie, Ambrose, and... Uh, yeah, Abigail, and we haven't named the other one. Okay, we'll watch this for a while.
doing what I'm hoping for. What's that? Uh, we get some pelicans in here. And maybe if we look up high, we'll see some cormorants. You know, they hang out up here. You know, they hang out here, up here. Let's see if we can see a cormorant or two. This is a good day for cormorants to sit and sun and hang out. And they like to hang out on those rocky cliffs. Yeah, right, right there. Point. I'm kind of looking for them. <clears throat> uh, they, yeah, I think there's some of them up there. Right there, see? They're looking around, yeah. There's some right yeah, there. The very point. Yeah, they're peeking out. They're on the other side facing the sun. They like the sun and then up there on the trail. They're more up there. And you know, I wish we got some seals in here, but Well, it's not deep enough. Yeah, and they like to go over to Big Whale Cove, don't they? pretty great spot over yeah, there. And look the at, boy this is a good spot to just let this go for a few minutes and then kind of turn it off and let it be for a while. How's that? Just to, uh, that's all, huh? So this is Steve and Judy Sparks, Children and Families in Life After Trauma, C-flat, on a beautiful Saturday afternoon at Little Whale Cove, Oregon, with Matt and Maddie and what it what to you? Ambrose and Abigail. Ambrose and Abigail, and then there's old George. Talk to you later, folks. www.survivethriveptsd.org. That's www.survivethriveptsd.org.